Hey crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take these really intricate die cuts and how to stick them to your projects. So what we're going to do is I have the background. This is a crafter's companion die and I already cut them out and it's going to stick onto this. A lot of people have different ways of doing this. It's really time consuming to try to glue these. I have glue pens. I have the Xyrons that just don't work on their own. <laughs> so I want to show you a really neat trick and a really quick way to stick these to your projects and it's not going to take you a whole lot of time. So. Right now I have the Creative Station, that's the Xyron, and this is a really good sticker maker. You can use this for all kinds of projects. I use it for labels, to make a lot of labels, but you can make stickers, anything you want. But right now we're going to run all three of these cutouts that I have. So I'm going to run these three right now. Alright guys, I've got all three of our thank yous ran through the machine and I did two black to show you as a comparison. So if you take this directly from the Xyron machine and you peel this back, it's going to be a yucky mess and I'm, go I'm going to show you what you're going to get and this is pretty much unusable to try to stick to one of your, your projects. And we'll, to give it a fair chance, we're gonna burnish this down a little bit to try to get it to not get all gummy and yucky. Okay. So, we're gonna just peel it back. So, you can see, see how it's like on there, and you have leftover glue stuff on the actual sheet. That is going to get on your project. So, just to show you, I'm going to peel this off. And this is just straight from the Xyron, what you will get. You see how it's like right here, there's glue and you're gonna, <laughs> this is like really- It looks like spider webs. It does look like spider webs. See that? <laughs> that that's not a good look <laughs> for your, and you can take that same like top sheet and try to stick this off and you're gonna get glue everywhere. This just looks nasty. You're not gonna wanna put this on a card. And what I used to do was I would take a seam ripper and I would go through all these little holes and it's just, it's a nightmare guys. Don't do this, <laughs> do not do this. I'm going to show you such an easy way. You need a Gemini machine for this next step after you run it through your Xyron. Okay, so we're just going to pop that there. <laughs> As a reminder, we do not want that look. Okay. So the next one right here, it's the same way. We're not gonna, not gonna do anything to it. Just like that. And I've got my Gemini plates and how you're going to want to stack this. You're going to want your clear plate your clear cutting plate. You're going to want to put your die that's been run through the Xyron. 
your embossing mat from your Gemini. You're going to want, this will be your clear milky shim. I replaced my clear milky shim with one of those healing mats like for sewing and cutting like fabric and stuff. I replaced mine with this. Yours will be the white milky shim and you're going to want to put that down. Next, you're going to have your magnetic shim on top of that and then you're going to have your other clear cutting plate, your other clear plate. And make sure that's all in there like that. And then you're going to turn on your Gemini and you're going to run this through your Gemini. Okay, guys. And then we're going to take everything back up. Set this off to the side. Okay, and then we're going to peel it. You can see how it like really smashed it down and crinkled it up. Okay, now we're gonna peel this one back. Okay. And this is absolutely amazing. This is what you get, guys. Look at that. And we're gonna peel this one off. Look at that. No webs. Look how clean. I get this into focus. See? <laughs> Look at that. Without running it through the Gemini versus running it through the Gemini. Like it's it's magic, guys. And then all you're gonna do is stick it down to your project. Look at that guys how simple I will never glue intricate die cuts again <laughs> this is the only way to do it we're gonna do this pink one one more time to show you guys just show you know just so you know it works this is a mermaid skin paper I'll show you once more your clear plate, put your die cut down that's been run through the Xyron, carefully place your embossing, your crafter's companion embossing mat for the Gemini, your white milky shim, I am using something different, this keeps my plates from warping, <laughs> and your magnetic magnetic shim, then you're gonna use your other clear plate right on top of that, guys, and you run it through your Gemini. I love my Gemini machine. It's the best way to cut die cuts. It's fast, it's simple, it's easy, no hand cranking. Let's get this off of here. All wrinkly, crinkly. We're gonna peel it back. Perfect every time. Guys, truly, how easy is that?
best way to stick your intricate die cuts. And if this video helped you guys, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more tips and tricks to show you. I appreciate you for tuning in. Thank you so much. Bye.